Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, let's focus on some of the questions on the UiPath remote time dependency. So let's see the very first question. The very first question is interactive selection on the target application builds correct selectors without considering the activities packages compatibility with UiPath remote runtime on the remote machine. So it is talking about, do you need to consider the activities packages compatibility? So which activity package UiPath, UI automation activity package it's talking about. Do you need to check the compatibility with UiPath remote runtime or not? Is it true or false? Interactive selection on the target application builds correct selectors without considering. Is it right? Without considering. So what should be your answer? Please pause the video and comment your answer. So let me reveal the answer. The answer for this question is option number B, false. This statement is false. Let me pick, ask you the second question. A developer upgrades the UiPath.UIAutomationActivities package from version 2110.7 to 2210.8. Getting it? So 2110.7 to 2210.8 for a VMware VDA automation project. So it is talking about the remote desktop or the virtual desktop interface automation project. What is the necessary step the developer should take post upgrade to ensure upgrade of what? Upgrading this UI automation package. Okay. To ensure accurate selector detection from the remote desktop application. Now, what are the options for you? Option A, reinstall UAPA Studio. Do you need to reinstall the UAPA Studio on robot with the updated activity package? B, update the UiPath remote runtime to match the new activities package version on the remote machine. So you are using you were using 2110.7. Now you are using 2210.8. If you come to the resource center, and click on remote runtime installer you were using 2110.7 that means your runtime version was 2210. this one right this one you are running now you have upgraded to 2210.8 that means you have to go with this so what is the necessary step the developer should take right so would, would you be going with the option b update the uipath runtime to match the new activities package version on the remote machine option c Copy the corresponding UiPath.UiAutomationActivities package. I have shown it yesterday. You have to go to userprofile.nugget.packages.uipath. So there you find this package folder, right? In the previous video, I have shown you. And paste it into in, on the remote machine. I mean, paste it on the remote machine. So out of all this, and D is B and C, which is the right option, do you think? What are the actions that we should take? Okay, so please do comment your answer. Kindly comment your answer. Do not worry. Think through and comment your answer. Now let me reveal the answer for you. The answer here will be B and C. You have to also update the remote runtime. Also copy the corresponding UiPath UI Automation Activities package version to the package folder, right? In the remote machine. All right, now let's move on to our question number three. What are the potential causes for the UiPath remote runtime.exe not initiating in the remote session for a Windows user post a recent installation? Okay, it is not working, it is not after a recent installation. Options are the UiPath remote runtime.msi was installed long ago, requiring a system update. UiPath Remote Runtime.exe always starts automatically for every Windows user. C. Recent installation of UiPath because you remember, mind this word, recent installation. Recent installation of UiPath Remote Runtime.msi without a subsequent system restart. You have not restarted. We have studied that yesterday, right? After you install UiPath Remote Runtime.msi, you must restart. D. UiPath remote runtime.exe only functions upon manual launch by the user. Do you need to manually launch it? Okay. Now, if you know the answer, please do comment. Please do comment your answer. Okay. I'll wait. Please do comment. I hope you have already done it. 
Let me reveal the answer. The answer is C. Recent installation of UiPath Remote Run Time.msi without a subsequent subsequent system restart. Okay, so this is your right answer, guys. So thank you for watching. Let's move on to our next topic.